প্রিয় দর্শক চ্যানেল 24 এর নিয়মিত আয়োজন ইসলাম ব্যাংক টুয়ার্স গ্রোথে আপনাদের স্বাগত আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি ফারুক মেহেদি এই অনুষ্ঠানে আমরা কথা বলি সমসাময়িক অর্থনীতি ও ব্যবসা বাণিজ্যের নানা বিষয় নিয়ে আর আজকে এই অনুষ্ঠানে অতিথি হিসেবে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্প্যানিশ রাষ্ট্রদূত লুইস তেহাদা সাকন হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি লুইস তেহাদা সাকন ইউ আর মোস্ট ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার প্রোগ্রাম দর্শক মূলত আজ আমরা কথা বলবো বাংলাদেশের অবকাঠামো বিনিয়োগ পরিস্থিতি এবং বাংলাদেশ ও স্পেনের বাণিজ্যিক সম্পর্ক নিয়ে তার আগে চলুন আজকের অতিথিকে নিয়ে তৈরি একটি প্রতিবেদন দেখে নিই একদিকে অ্যাটলান্টিক আর আরেকদিকে ভূমধ্যসাগর উপকূল পৃথিবীর মাত্র যে তিনটি দেশ এই দুই উপকূলে একসাথে পেয়েছে তাদের একটি স্পেন অর্থনীতির আকারের দিক দিয়ে পুরো বিশ্বের মাঝে দেশটির অবস্থান চোদ্দ আর ইউরোপিয়ান ইউনিয়নভুক্ত দেশগুলোর মাঝে পঞ্চম একেবারে ইতিহাসের শুরুর দিকে বিশ্বের মানচিত্রে যে অল্প কয়েকটি দেশ তাদের সাম্রাজ্য প্রতিষ্ঠা করেছিল স্পেন তাদের একটি বাংলার সাথে স্প্যানিশ বণিকদের যোগাযোগের শুরুটা তখন থেকে আধুনিক যুগে এসে সেই সম্পর্কটা অনেক কমে গেলেও রয়ে গেছে এ দেশে জ্বালানি খাতে রয়েছে স্পেনের নানা ধরনের কারিগরি সহযোগিতা আর দেশে রপ্তানির মূল স্তম্ভ তৈরি পোশাক খাতেও রয়েছে দেশটির বিনিয়োগ এই দেশেরই বাংলাদেশের রাষ্ট্রদূত লুইস তিহাদা শাকুন জন্ম স্পেনের মাতৃতে সময়টা উনিশশো ষাট সালের নয় মে ছেলেবেলাও কেটেছে এই শহরেই অভিজ্ঞ এই কূটনীতিক লেখাপড়া শেষ করেন স্পেনের কম্প্লুটেন্স এদি মাতৃত বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় থেকে আইন বিষয় কূটনৈতিক জীবনে শুরুটা আটাশির মার্চ মাসে থার্ড সেক্রেটারি হিসেবে এরপর স্পেন সরকারের বিভিন্ন পদে কাজ করেছেন বিশ্বের বিভিন্ন দেশে ছিলেন গেবন ও দামাসকাসে স্পেন দূতাবাসের উপপ্রধান পদে স্পেনের পরামর্শক হিসেবে কাজ করেছেন ইউরোপীয় ইউনিয়ন ইউর স্থায়ী কার্যালয় একই সাথে সংস্থাটির বহির সম্পর্ক বিভাগে কাজ করেছেন উপমহাপরিচালক পদে বাংলাদেশে স্পেনের রাষ্ট্রদূত হিসেবে দায়িত্ব নেন দুই হাজার এগারো সালের তেরোই আগস্ট এরপর থেকেই বাংলাদেশ সরকারের একজন বন্ধু হিসেবে কাজ করে আসছেন এ দেশকে তিনি দেখেন অফুরন্ত সম্ভাবনার রাষ্ট্র হিসেবে যে রাষ্ট্রের মানুষেরা একই সাথে উদ্যমী কর্মঠ ও মেধাবী তেহাদা বিশ্বাস করেন একদিন বাংলাদেশ হয়ে উঠবে বিশ্বের সবচেয়ে শক্তিশালী অর্থনীতির দেশগুলোর একটি আর বাংলাদেশের সাথে স্পেনের সম্পর্ক বাড়তেই থাকবে অবিরাম এক্সিলেন্ট এক্সিলেন্ট গ্লোরিয়াস পাস্ট ইউ এনজয়েড ইউর প্রিভিয়াস পোস্টিং ভেরিয়াস কান্ট্রিজ হিজ এক্সিলেন্সি লুইস তাজাদা সাকন উই উড লাইক টু নো ফার্স্ট অ্যাবাউট ইউর কান্ট্রি ইউর ইকোনমি ইউর বিজনেস ক্লাইমেট ইফ ইউ প্লিজ শেয়ার উইথ আস Well, um, as you know, uh, Spain, as the whole of Europe, has been undergoing for a certain time in a, in a strong crisis, financial crisis. We have undergone through very brave reforms. We have changed our financial system, banking system. We ch have changed our labor system. And as a result of these reforms, we, we are going now, our economy is growing again. This year, I think, will be around 1.5%. That is a great achievement because uh, it's the first year without negative growth uh, of the last five years. And uh, we are starting to in increase employment again, to, to create employment. And the only thing that is checking us for the time being is that uh, big countries like Germany or France, who are perhaps our biggest customers, are still in a, in a, in a, in a strong crisis. They are not growing. So this is uh, checking a little bit our growth. But you we must consider that our economy is, uh, you know, we have uh, around $30,000 uh, per capita. Uh, Spain is a rich country. We have uh, a huge infrastructure that we built in the, in the past decades. And we have resources to overcome the situation. Which sector suffered most last couple of years? In, in Spain, the big crisis um, came because of a bubble in construction. During many years, we were, you know, constructing more or less half of the houses and the infrastructures of the whole of Europe. 
and uh, our population is barely one one fifth or, or or one the sixth of the of the European Union. So we had a bubble. Too many houses were constructed. So we employed a lot of people in construction. We have a huge immigration from foreign countries who came to, to work in construction. And this has been the sector that has suffered more the crisis. Uh, now we cannot build uh, houses for the time being because we have 700,000 700, apartments still uh, without uh, unsold. And first of all, people must buy these apartments before we start again with construction. And also, of course, we, we have done an effort in, in, in highways, in, in roads, in trains, and we have had to stop there. And that has been a sector also that has suffered a lot of, of, of crisis, a lot of... Which co what commodity is the major exporting item? Spain, traditionally, during many years, you know, was a country specialized in uh, agriculture and light industry. A lot of the fruit and vegetables of Europe are produced in, in Spain still. And uh, our light industry, garments, for example, or toys, this has almost uh, disappeared and has gone to countries like Bangladesh. Who are much also more importing machineries from More competitive. And now, now our, our main France and Germany also Yeah, our, our main product of export now is machinery. Machinery. That we are selling to, to France, Germany and other countries. Uh, because we produce at the similar levels of, for example, Germany. So would li you, you would like to uh, tell uh, this, uh, that uh, your economy is uh, recovering the economic recession last couple of years? Yeah, our, our economy recovery mainly uh, conducted, mainly driven by the increase of exports. Exports are, 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 are uh, increasing a lot and this is our taking out uh, us from the crisis. Uh, you are, you are uh, uh, working in Bangladesh. You are uh, you're posting here in Bangladesh the la last uh, three or more years. Uh, so what your impression in Bangladesh? Do you think that Bangladesh uh, is a really a, a modest economic country? Uh, what about uh, your feelings? You, you may tell about the uh, nature. You may tell about the culture. And you may tell about the... Um, um, uh, people's uh, perception? Yeah. Well, you know, Bang Bangladesh, first of all, is a big country. You have 160 million people. That's yeah. enormous. Uh, that means that your economy is big. I mean, uh, the, the income per capita is not so high, but uh, you have an economy of uh, 130,000, uh, uh, 30 million dollars per year. That's a lot. That's a big economy. Uh, also, you must take into account that the growth of Bangladesh has been high for many years. You have been, uh, during 25 years, growing at a six, uh, between 6 and 7 percent. You will find very, very few countries in the world that can say that have been growing at this, at this uh, rhythm. Perhaps uh, you will find that they grow at 7 percent one year, they go down. You have seen India, for example, they have been growing at 8, 9, now they have been growing at, at 3, 4. But to maintain year after year 6.5, 7, 6.2, 6.3, Whatever happens, even if you have a political crisis, if you, even if you have a, 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 I would say, a, a weather bad conditions, whatever happens, you maintain your growth. His Excellency uh, Luis uh, will talk uh, much more uh, after the break. Priya Darshak, Islam Bank Tours Growth Report, Jay Chotak to Biroti Nitsi, Fitchi, Ektupore, and the Shati Thakun. Islamic Bank, M Cash. Desh bide shir je kono jayga theke taka pathan aur shathe shathe grahan kora jay. Bank ke je kono shaka ba M Cash agent ke kache account khulbe aur chup bich ghanta hi nagod len den korbe. Tar mane taka M Cash se pathamu M Cash shi lomu. Islamic Bank, M Cash. Hathe hathe shathe shathe. M Cash shiva pete dial karo. Star two five nine hash a number. Jolar Bothe, Shop Challenge Niti Amiretti. Road. Dholo Bali, Kono Kichu Yama Ke Tomate Pare Na. Ami Thakye Egiye, Shop Shumoy. Karun Amar Max Confidence. Tai Akhon, Fair and Lovely Max Fan Is Tomake Dicche, Ek Bike Jeta Shujo Proti Din. E Number Miss Kaldao, Ar Jeta Nao Tomar Bike. 
gone. <laughs> yes! Akram! Rofi! No, no! Pilot! Sakib! Banglaling Gahokra shop shome beshi pai. Tai no tun shongjok hok ba bondho hok. Matro unista kari charge pa chen desher share are. Pochish pasha jeko no Banglaling number e. Evo shat pasha onno paritore. Proti minute din ra chobish ghanta. Aar shathe dui mas Facebook or WhatsApp ek dum free. Tai chole asho aar no tun kichu koro. Banglaling. Robi dur dam offer. Proti din no tun Robi shongjok e shathe Unilever er ek shota ka shoma mulle bundle offer. আর রবি গ্রাহকদের জন্য যে কোনো নম্বরে এক পয়সা প্রতি সেকেন্ড কল রেট সারা দিন আর একটি প্রিয় নম্বরে আধা পয়সা প্রতি সেকেন্ড কল রেট সারা দিন সাথে 2.8 জিবি ফ্রি ইন্টারনেট রবি হ্যাঁ ভাই যেখানে সেখানে বেস্ট কিনতে এলওয়াগ দুরন্ত মাধ্যম এখানেই ডট কম আমার কাছে আভিজাত্যের আরেক নাম जुग जुग धोरे शॉल्नो जलता के चुन्नो सैंडलीना सैंडल्स ओ रुक जाट चाहे आप ही जात तो हाँ भाई जेखने शेखने बेस्ट किंते एलवाग दुरों तो मत घम एकाने ही डॉट घम एतू का है जो नो तुम कॉम्प्लेनर एक टाइप पैके आचे पास लीटर रिच्चे और बेशी तू दर शक्ति जब बोन सर मसल शक्ति शैली को ते शार्ट जो करे एकून कॉम प्लानर 350 ग्राम पैकेज साथे एक टी आकर्षणीय मॉग फ्री हाँ भाई शेखने शेखने बेस्ट किंते एलवाग दुरों तो मत घम एकाने ही डॉट घम इलेक्ट्रोमार्ट इधर चाव उपहार उपहार कॉलोराब ये इधे इलेक्ट्रोमार्ट पुरी बेशी तो कौन का ओ माइडिया फ्रीजर साथे निश्चित उपहार राइस कुकर ये छाड़ा हाई को फ्रीज किन ले पत्थर ने कि इलेक्ट्रिक आयरन निश्चित उपहार इधा नंदो बारे उपहारे उपहारे इलेक्ट्रोमार्ट लिमिटेड हाँ भाई शेखने शेखने बेस्ट किंते एलवाग दुरों तो मत घम एकाने ही डॉट घम फ्री फ्री पंचाश ग्राम फ्री तिब्बत डिटर्जेंट पाउडर पांच सौ ग्राम इशाते पंचाश ग्राम फ्री कापूर धुआँ एकों आरुषा स्ट्री हाँ भाई शेखने शेखने बेस्ट किंते एलवाग दुरों तो मत घम एकाने ही डॉट घम इनाविजा कुरुन जे कुनु किचु बिक्राई डॉट कॉम बांग्लादेश के सबसे बड़ो मार्केट प्लेस कमलता जिन बेचार छवि तुलून मोबाइल थे के ओएलएक्स से जान छवि तुलून पोस्ट करून और बेचून ओएलएक्स बेचे दिन दोष बहुत हो रहा है और एक हम उनके ठीक एक ही रोग में अपरूप शुंदर देखा है जब मुझे देखे थे लाम प्रथम बार एक रोहन शुकी एक हम इंटेलिजेंट प्रोसेल कॉम्प्लेक्स शामिल थे पांच एच मरकल बाबू हरे आपने डॉट कम LCD, LCD, 
বিরতির পর আবার স্বাগত দেখছেন ইসলাম ব্যাংক টুয়ার্স গ্রোথ সাথে আছেন বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্পেনিশ রাষ্ট্রদূত লুইস তেহাদা সাকন হিজ এক্সিলেন্সি উই আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য বিজনেস অ্যান্ড ইকোনমি অফ স্পেন অ্যান্ড বাংলাদেশ ডু ইউ হ্যাভ এনি অবজারভেশন অফ আওয়ার বিজনেস অ্যান্ড ইকোনমি উইথ স্ট্রেং অফ স্ট্রেংথ অফ আওয়ার ইকোনমি ওয়াল আই থিঙ্ক ইউর ইউর মেইন স্ট্রেংথ ইজ দ্য লার্জ নাম্বার অফ অন্টারপ্রনিয়স Uh, the businessmen, people who create their own, uh, their own factory uh, and are able to export to the world markets, uh, we have seen that in garments. In the future, we will see that in other sectors. Another very important strength is the hard-working population that you have. The Bangladeshi people are very active people, very hard-working, uh, very disciplined, And this combination of entrepreneurship plus uh, hard work, uh, I think, is what are your main strengths and what assure you the, the future uh, prosperity. Low-cost labor also an opportunity for investors? Uh, yes, it is true that uh, you can say that the workforce is, uh, has lower salaries than in other countries, but you must take into account that uh, you must compensate that by the fact that the access to infrastructure and electricity is more expensive than in other countries. So I wouldn't define necessarily Bangladesh uh, because of, uh, with low cost. Uh, Bangladesh, uh, I think the attractiveness is the attitude of the population, uh, more than I would say that the cheap price or the, or the low cost. Uh, the, the, that, that's a, perhaps an advantage when you, for workers, but a disadvantage for other aspects. After that, uh, FDI not coming more widely. No. Why? Well, first we have mu much more potentiality of labor costs yeah. and other uh, infrastructural development, and the uh, uh, government tax incentive also provided. Yeah. Well, there are several reasons. First of all, you must take into account that when uh, direct investment goes to developing countries, Often it is because these countries have uh, uh, raw materials. They have oil, they have gas, or they have uh, other raw materials. Uh, Bangladesh is not very much endowed with raw materials. So you don't have a lot of mining here, for example, that you have in countries like Africa, for example. So this is why this explains a part because you're... Uh, Bangladesh uh, have to uh, import much more uh, yes, quantity yes. of raw materials, is yeah, it? It is. I mean... Uh, Uh, people don't invest here because uh, they don't have mines to invest in. Uh, whether in Africa, for example, they have diamonds, they have gold, they have oil, and this explains a lot of, of investment in many countries. Second reason is that uh, still you have to develop uh, your infrastructure. It's difficult, uh, you know, 
the Bangladeshi entrepreneurs have the capacity to adapt to a difficult conditions. But uh, foreign, foreigners are not so much used to have uh, you know, difficult roads or difficult access to energy. And this is why they are checked. And I think that there is also a psychological reason that we have uh, to overcome among all of us is that people, when they think in Bangladesh, they think uh, in terms of uh, poor developing country. And they don't think in terms of emerging country. And I think that uh, now, because of the success with governments, in the future, probably, when they think in Bangladesh, they will think of a country uh, that, is, uh, that is developing, that is emerging. And they will start to come. You are telling about that our uh, road, our infrastructure, our power energy is uh, uh, very much uh, constrained for our uh, industrialization and FDI also. Yeah. So how can Bangladesh improve this situation? Well, you know, Bangladesh is improving uh, quite fast. I mean, uh, if you see, for example, the effort that has been done by your government in the last uh, four years for the extending the, the power sector, the number of uh, power plants that have been built, you will see that the effort uh, has been quite strong. What happens in Bangladesh is that the economy grows very fast. And it's very difficult, you know, that infrastructure grows at the same pace as economy. Uh, but if you take into account what is done, you will see that, that the effort has been done. It is true that, in my view, uh, what has to be uh, accomplished still is that when you foresee a project and you approve a project, the procedure, the administrative procedure to put it to place must be faster. Because sometimes you have, you know, projects that take some time to, to be, uh, to be uh, really built up, and especially for roads and bridges. But uh, I think uh, that the, the, the sector, the electric, electrical sector, the uh, power sector, is a good example that when Bangladesh wants to push uh, infrastructure in one sector, they are able to do it. They do it very well. The power sector is very much important for industrialization uh, for Bangladesh. But you know the power uh, production is very much costly for Bangladesh. The government are uh, giving high subsidy. So it is burden for the people of Bangladesh. Do you uh, know this? Uh, it is true, you know, the subsidies also help the people to buy the, the, the electricity. The, 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 that would be very expensive for them if not. I think the IMF and other organizations are pushing... They are prescribing. They are to, trying, to, yeah. To increase the price. To increase a little bit the price because uh, you but have... But it is burden for the common people, those who are consumption, consuming this uh, yeah, product. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, if you want to have a rational consumption and uh, you need little by little, progressively, increase a little bit the price. It is, it is something you have to do. Uh, also to create an incentive uh, for private investors. It is very difficult that people put money in the power sector if you are going to remunerate very low. So I think that in the, in the medium term, long term, you will have to, to, to progressively increase the, the, the prices of, of power. You may know about the uh, Chittagong port, which yeah. is the main port of Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, how Bangladesh can improve the efficiency of uh, Chittagong port? Well, I think that uh, there are plans to increase uh, the capacity of the port. That is quite efficient already. Uh, we must recognize that the port is, you know, Bangladesh is exporting to the world about uh, uh, 20, 27 billion dollars per year. That goes all through the port. And uh, that means that the port is efficient. Mm -hmm. But it could be better. Uh, probably you have to extend the capacity uh, of the port as it is. And I think that as soon as possible, you have to build up a deep sea port. Because uh, you, you would need to import uh, gas in the future, and also coal. And for that, you need a deep sea port. So it's very important that these plans to the deep sea port accelerate. And as soon as possible, you, you can count on a deep sea port. His Excellency Tehada, we would like to talk more after the break. Priya Darshak, Islam Bank Towards Growth Hair, Airport Jaya, Arakta Biruti Nitsi, Fitchik to Pore, Amada Shati Thakun.
सब चैलेंज नहीं दिया मेरे लिए रोहत धूलो वाले किचुआ दमाते सब समय कारण मैक्स कन्फिडेंस तेयर एंड लाभलि मैक्स फैन एस तुम्हें दिखे एक बैक जेतार सूझ प्रतिदिन यही नम्बर मिस कल दाओ और जीते नाओ तुम बैक ट लिंक आजकल शुद्ध खबर नीवाणुरा बदले शक्तिशाली जीवाणुरा डायरिया पेट बैठा लंडन द्वारा स्वीकृत नतून लाइफ बय दस टी रोग संक्रमण कारी शक्तिशाली जीवाणु सुरक्षा सब चे बड़ मार्केट प्लेस इलेक्ट्रोमार्टहारहार कलर लागलो की
चर्चा करो जी कुनो किचु बिक्रय डॉट कॉम में बांग्लादेशी शॉप चे बड़ो मार्केटप्लेस है भाई जेखने शेखने बेस्ट किंते एलवाइक दुरों तो मार घम एकाने ही डॉट कॉम आमी क्या रामौत जेखने ही कोरी मेरा मौत शेखने ही आठ का पाय आठ का ताते आठ का और एक बो जगते रूपे বিশ্বের সেরা পারফিউম আর ময়শ্চারাইজিং সিল্ক এসেন্স সমৃদ্ধ নতুন লাক্স এই প্রথমবারের মতো ফুলের নকশা নিয়ে যা আপনাকে দেয় সুবাসিত কোমল ত্বক আমার নতুন ভালোবাসা নতুন লাক্স আমার কাছে আভিজাত্যের আরেক নাম যুগ যুগ ধরে স্বর্ণ জল ত্বকের জন্য স্যান্ডেলিনা স্যান্ডেল সোল রূপচর চায় আভিজাত্য সুখে তোমার স্বপ্ন যে সাজা दस बचर हल मन प्रथम बारे मत दस बचर पर कम बस देखे देख বিরতির পর আবার স্বাগত দেখছেন ইসলাম ব্যাংক টুয়ার্স গ্রোথ সাথে আছেন বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্প্যানিশ রাষ্ট্রদূত লুইস তেহাদা সাকান হিজ এক্সিলেন্সি উই আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার ডেভেলপমেন্ট অফ বাংলাদেশ ইউ মো নো অ্যাবাউট দ্য ফোর ল্যান্ড হাইওয়ে ঢাকা চিটাং হাইওয়ে বাট উই আর অবজারভিং দ্যাট দ্য লাস্ট কাপল অফ ইয়ার্স ইট ইজ নট কমপ্লিট ইয়েট ডু ইউ থিঙ্ক দ্যাট দ্যাট ইজ দ্য প্রবলেম অফ ডেভেলপমেন্ট Well, I, I, I cannot tell you the reasons why uh, the, the, this highway is going faster or, or slower. That, that I'm not sure. Uh, it is well obviously needed because the, the whole of the bulk of your, your traffic goes through from Dhaka to Chittagong. And I think that uh, uh, the it's sooner... the main you, organ of our economy. Yeah, it's, it's very important. So I think that uh, in this axis, you know, Dhaka, Chittagong plus the port is crucial for, for Bangladesh. But uh, this, this is true. But uh, you can see that last year your exports increased by 20%. So in the end, it is true that I don't know if it is because of the merit of the Bangladeshi entrepreneurs, but even with, uh, with difficult roads, you accommodate quite well and you get good results. Uh, so it is true that, that you, you have to increase your, this, this infrastructure, this, this highway and others, and the Padma Bridge and other things. Uh, but uh, as I tell you, Uh, the results up to now are very good and you can be very proud of your of your high growth uh, you could, could always say okay we could grow at for example eight nine percent that is true but uh, growing at 6.3 like last year or seven like so many years is is, is to be proud of it's very difficult and uh, you will have you know in, in, the, in the next five ten years probably much better uh, infrastructure much better highways but uh, Also, people must be patient because it's not so easy to build the highway. You take a, it takes a lot of time here and in every country. 
uh, you are staying in Bangladesh a couple of years. Uh, uh, which uh, sector you found more potential for Bangladesh development? Well, you know, if we set aside, uh, the, the, I would say, the garments, that is obvious the garments have a great potential still. I think that, for example, uh, pharmaceuticals, which is a very big industry in Bangladesh, has a great potential to become also a source of exports and, and, and uh, increasing uh, revenues for the country. I think uh, also your, your shipbuilding uh, could increase a lot. You have a tradition, you have docks, and you could be an exporting country like uh, other countries in Asia have been in the past, like for example, South Korea. Uh, you have also, I think, a lot of potential for the, I would say, light industry. Uh, I think that uh, things like toys, like, uh, for example, uh, uh, machinery for the, for the house, for the home, all these kind of things, uh, uh, tiles, all these kind of things that, uh, uh, you know... All are, these are, sectors are very much potential for our potential. I think that, that, that uh, it will be the second step after the garments. But you know, uh, you maybe experienced that uh, la uh, last couple of years, our major exporting item, uh, RMG, ready-made garments, it is uh, suffered a lot. Uh, it, it is uh, facing a uh, lots of challenges. Uh, it, it facing uh, garment safety problem, building uh, safety problem, working environment problem, uh, m much more pressure on this sector. So how can Bangladeshi garments industry uh, survive in future? Well, if you see, Which if you, me measure needed for this yeah. sector? If you see the sector, even with all these problems that you are quoting, that you are uh, saying, uh, the sector has been growing. The export has been growing. And so there has not been a crisis. The, 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 the sector is uh, doing very well. The exports have increased to 20 percent and the production is increasing. And for example, the more and more people from Spain, companies come here to buy in Bangladesh. They are increasing the, the buys here. Uh, so Bangladesh is not uh, undergoing a crisis in the sector. Eh? Bangladesh is still having a very strong sector and you will have it for the following, the, the next 10, 15 years at least. It International is pressure uh, in this sector, but uh, you know, the Accord and Alliance. Yeah. They found that the Bangladeshi garments uh, are quite better. It is improving. Yeah. But why they are uh, giving pressure to this industry? Well, you know, more than pressure, I think there is a common intention in the buyers, in the producers, uh, to improve, to update, uh, to streamline the export, the industry of Bangladesh. Uh, so what, what is happening is that your industry is modernizing. And that means that you will have, well, you know, the, the workers will have more safe, safety. I think the, the workers have safety. Uh, you will have more trade unions in the future. But uh, I wouldn't say this is pressure to the industry. This is a process that uh, any industry undergoes. I mean, a, a process of modernization. I must say that uh, my information is that uh, the Bangladeshi uh, entrepreneurs, the Bangladeshi businessmen, the owners of the factories, are cooperating very enthusiastically with Accord and with Alliance. And that these two uh, associations are very uh, proud and very satisfied with the cooperation of the owners of the, of the factories. So I am very optimistic uh, that in the, in the medium term, you will have a safe a modern, uh, and modern industry. And that means that it will be a sustainable industry. I mean, you cannot have an industry that uh, is risky for the workers. But if you improve it, in the, uh, you will have many years of, co of being competitive with a modern industry. Spare also invested in garments in Bangladesh. Yes. Uh, would you please t uh, tell me about this, yes. how much you invested here in Bangladesh? Well, you know, we, we buy uh, more or less about uh, $1.3 billion every year. Eh? We, only, we only sell you seven, seven you know, importing all this quantity, but probably our companies are buying even more because we have very big multinationals that buy here and, and export to other countries different from, than Spain. Uh, we have uh, huge companies like, for example, Inditex. Inditex uh, is perhaps our biggest garment company. Uh, and they are here in Bangladesh, it has been for many years. We have another big company, it's called El Corte Inglés. We have Mango. If you go to any city in the world, uh, you will see these Spanish uh, shops 
and they are selling products from Bangladesh. We have also some uh, small entrepreneurs, Spanish entrepreneurs, who have established their own factory here in Bangladesh and have been working in Bangladesh for a, for a certain time. So this is our main, uh, I would say, participation in the garment sector. Uh, you also have a joint venture investment in Bangladesh? Yes, there are Spanish... Uh, in which sector? In, uh, we have uh, mainly in garments. There is a, also a very important investment in cement. Uh, there's a company, the name is Lafarge. This company, half of the investment is French, half of the investment is uh, Spanish. Of a company that you is called... You also invested in uh, power and in energy industry. And we have a very important uh, presence in power. Now our companies are building uh, power plants. On the whole, it is almost 2,000 megawatts. They, are building a, they have built a plant in Kulna. They are building a plant in two plants in Ashungan, big plants. They are building a plant in Sidirargan, and they are going to start also a plant in Viviana. All these plants are very modern plants uh, that are going to, to give a lot of power to Bangladesh. Uh, do you giving the technical support to Bangladesh government in the power industry? Uh, th these companies uh, bring uh, all their uh, technical capacity and when they come here to work, they always work in cooperation with Bangladeshi companies. Uh, a lot of the works are done by Bangladeshi companies. So I think when, when they work here, these Bangladeshi companies acquire the technologies of the Spanish companies. At the same time, I must say that the Spanish companies learn how to work in Bangladesh from the Bangladeshi companies, because your climate is very different to our, from our climate. For example, for, for our companies, it has been a big challenge to learn how to work in monsoon. We don't have monsoon in Spain. Spain is a dry, dry country, no rain, little rain. Here you have a lot of water. We have to learn how to work in water. And this is something that Bangladeshi teach the Spanish. Uh, His Excellency uh, will take a uh, break. প্রিয় দর্শক ইসলামিক টুয়ার্স গ্রোথের এই পর্যায়ে আরেকটা বিরতি নিচ্ছি ফিরছে একটু পরে আমাদের সাথেই থাকুন चले जा দেখো এখানে আর এখানেও হচ্ছে এখানে বাইরের পিৎজা বার্গার ব্যথা তো হবেই তাই না বাবা তোমারও কি এমন ব্যথা হতো আজকাল শুধু খাবার নয় জীবাণুরাও বদলেছে হয়েছে আরো শক্তিশালী জীবাণুরা এখান থেকে এখানে তারপর ডায়রিয়া পেট ব্যথা তাহলে লন্ডনের আরএসপিএইচ দ্বারা স্বীকৃত নতুন লাইফ বয় 10 টি রোগ সংক্রমণকারী শক্তিশালী জীবাণু থেকে দেয় সুরক্ষা এখানে না এখানে চায়ের সাথে যেমন घरे घरे बंधु सब बंधु के चाय तबार दिन रात कथा एक पसाय
जबर कम माध्यम श्रद्धाशील तई दस टी निर्दिष्ट पॉइंट आई एसओ सेवन थ्री सेवन वन स्टैंडार्ड थार्मोकपल द्वारा परीक्षा कर तैरि है वालटन फ्रिज वालटन पन्न हाँ भाई जेखने से बेचते कहते दुरंत माध्यम एखने डट कम जीवन ड्रिंकिंग जीवन ही पानी पानी जीवन हाँ भाई जेखने से बेचते कहते दुरंत माध्यम एखने डट कम रोफिकम <laughs> चौबीसुकुर हाँ भाई जेखने से बेचते कहते दुरंत माध्यम एखने डट कम दुर्दान
ভিডিওর পর আবার স্বাগত দেখছেন ইসলাম ব্যাংক টুয়ার্স গ্রোথ সাথে আছেন বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্পেনিশ রাষ্ট্রদূত লুইস তেহাদা সাকন হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি উই আর টকিং अबाउट द বাংলাদেশ স্পেন ইনভেস্টমেন্ট অপরচুনিটি ইউ নো বাংলাদেশি মেনি নন রেসিডেন্ট বাংলাদেশিস আর ওয়ার্কিং ইন স্পেন হোয়াট अबाउट देयर কন্ডিশন ডু ইউ নো अबाउट द লেটেস্ট ওয়েল হাউ দে আর ওয়ার্কিং দেয়ার স্কিল নেস ইয়া এটসেট There are about 20,000 20, uh, Bangladeshi in Spain. Of course, the Bangladeshis are the, the Spaniards. You know, they have suffered the, 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 the economic crisis, and there have been some unemployment among, this, among the, the, this population. But I must say that, on the whole, they are protected by the fact that uh, most of them have businesses. The Bangladeshi in Spain, normally, they establish their own business. They have a lot of restaurants, for example. I mean. To be honest, most of Indian restaurants in, in Spain are Bangladeshi. It's a curiosity. The owner are Bangladeshi. Are owner are Bangladeshi. There are a lot in Barcelona and in Madrid. Uh, they are also have a lot of fruit shops. They sell fruit and they, there's a network. And uh, they have small shops. That means that they are not unemployed. They are doing their own business. It's a community that is very well integrated. They come because they have family links. And I would say it's a community that uh, integrates very well. They are respectful with the legislation of the country, and uh, they are hardworking, they are have their own businesses. I would say that uh, in, in they are doing well, and, and they are respected by the Spanish population. Maybe a sizable amount of Bangladeshis are illegal. Do you have any plan to legalize them? Well, you know, there are not so many illegal Bangladeshis in Spain. Now it's difficult to... Uh, to get into Europe if you are illegal. On the other side, uh, because of the economic crisis, there are not so many that have come in the recent years. And we have many people from South America, many people from North Africa. So most of the Bangladeshis that come, uh, if they want to work, it's because they have uh, family links in Spain and they, they come by the legal way. So I wouldn't say that there are so many illegal, no? Now, you know, in Spain there have been uh, several process of legalizing uh, immigrants, but uh, in this moment I wouldn't say this is a priority because what we have is that many, uh, many of the migrants are going out of Spain because of the crisis. So we are not in a moment in which, in which we are attracting a lot of people. And uh, I would say that, that uh, Uh, we don't have a big problem with, with uh, illegals in general and with, and with Bangladeshi in particular. Uh, do you think uh, that the, your government has a plan to recruit more Bangladeshis? Uh, well, you know, uh, I think that uh, when our economy uh, starts to grow faster, uh, there will be a natural tendency of these uh, 20,000 Bangladeshi to grow. Uh, it is not that the government will recruit, because in Spain the government doesn't recruit uh, foreigners. It's mainly that, that they get because they have employment opportunities. And uh, I think this, this part of, uh, of this 20,000 will become a, a higher figure. But I must say in this that, of course, they will face the competition of many people from North Africa. It's, they are very close to Spain, from Morocco. There are uh, about uh, half a million of Moroccans in Spain, and many people from Latin America that they speak our language, uh, Spanish. So it is not that we are going to choose among these different communities, but uh, that uh, naturally, you know, they will be attracted by the fact that they have uh, uh, other nationals of these countries there. The Bangladeshi will come, but there still will be a figure that there will, will not be huge. Uh, earlier you said about the potentiality of Bangladesh economy, you said that Bangladesh uh, few sector has uh, much more potential to invest. Which sector you f found more potential to invest for the uh, Spanian, uh, Spanish uh, government or the Spanish people? Uh, and uh, um, uh, do you have any plan in near, near future to yeah. invest here in Bangladesh? Well, you know, our infrastructure companies are, are coming and each time more frequently and more and more. And they will continue to come. And uh, a lot will depend on the contracts that the Bangladesh uh, government uh, tenders out. This is one of the things. Another important field would be that uh, there is opportunities for private investment in the infrastructure sector. For example, if you do uh, public-private partnerships, 
there will be Spanish companies. There is a company that is in Bangladesh. They are building two power plants. The, the name is Isolux. This company is now uh, constructing and exploiting uh, highways in India uh, for a total of $7 billion. But in Bangladesh, it still is not possible uh, to, uh, you know, uh, build and, and to, to exploit a, a highway in the regime of concession. Uh, still, this has to develop. When you do more of these things, when you uh, allow the private uh, uh, investment to participate in the infrastructure, electrical, highways, whatever, the Spanish will be there, for sure. Finally, what's your impression about our political situation, which is the major uh, challenge for uh, investment, especially for the uh, FDI? Well, you know, as a diplomat, uh, we have the rule that we never uh, uh, pronounce ourselves about the internal political affairs of, of, of a country, because we must respect the, the, the sovereignty and Bangladesh is a sovereign country, you know. I would say that, uh, you know, I would highlight which are the, 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 the main advantages of the country. Uh, for example, the, the criminality in Bangladesh is very low. The homicide rate is one of the lowest in the world. Uh, this is a country in which you can move very free from one point to the other. I would say also that the Bangladeshi people, you know, are very welcome the foreigners. And uh, so in the end, I wouldn't say that the people don't come here because of political reasons. The main problem now, up to now, up today, are the infrastructure. Uh, are the infrastructures and the fact that, uh, you know, the, the investment will grow with Bangla when Bangladesh has rules and regulations that allow also more easy investment in the country. No? Uh, and of course, in the long run, you have to have a stable system and uh, to avoid these cartels that, that are no good, no good for, for, for investors or for, for, for nationals. No? But uh, I would uh, underline that Bangladesh is a peaceful country. I wouldn't say that. that is Thank a... you very much, His Excellency Luis Tejada Sakon. Uh, hope uh, Bangladesh will uh, recover uh, all this constraint and uh, much more FDA will come in Bangladesh in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Priya Doshok, Shesh Korbo Islam Bank towards growth. Dekha hobe agami porbe. Hoyto onno kono othithi shathe. Shepur jonto bhalo thakun, shushto thakun.